Today on the show, new Red Dead Online payout changes, and we'll also be going into extreme detail on just how exactly you can make more money this week. There's two big money bonuses which you can jump in and take advantage of right now. We have all the tips, tricks, and guides that you need to know for this week so you can make lots of extra money with very little effort required. And for those of you who just want to sit back, relax, and hang out while you play and don't necessarily want to keep track of timers and all that, this is a perfect week for you. So if you enjoyed this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it and if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything red dead redemption 2 and red dead online consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on The first payout change that I want to mention is for the naturalists. Samples are paying out double cash and XP this week, and I know naturalists may not be everyone's favorite role, but hear me out when I say that double money earned from samples is some of the easiest and fastest money you can make in this game currently. With that said, please, please do not discard this guide and ignore sampling animals this week. Sampling legendary animals through the legendary animal sighting missions for Harriet will be your best bet, and some animals like the night beaver, Sapa cougar, the shadow buck, and Amy elk, and the cross fox all pay out around $30 normally, which means the double money bonus will be more than $60 per sample sold this week. On screen, you can find each animal and an animal guide that lays out all the sell prices for every single legendary animal, the sample prices, plus all other important information about each legendary animal that you can sample in the free room, and from Harriet's list of missions. I also have a link in the description below for this should you want to save it and check it out later for yourself. The Golden Spirit Bear, for example, will reward a total of $72 for the sample this week, but the mission could take up a decent chunk of time because each animal has around three to five different mission variations, of which some could take you longer or a shorter amount of time depending on which one you get. So when it comes to animals that you'll have an easier time of sampling, it really comes down to looking for animals that don't take very long to track down so you can sample and then go sell the sample really fast. With that being said, my personal recommendations of the most lucrative and important animals would be the following. The Banded Gator for $47, the Iwakta Panther for $48, the Akahi Boar for $44, the Milk Coyote for $41, the Anami Elk sample for $51, and the Peta Bison sample for $63. And then of course you can go with the Rutile Horn Ram for $59, all of which will take you a couple minutes at most to track down and sample. The Banded Gator, Milk Coyote, and Anami Elk, for example, have missions as short as literally one minute long if you get the right variant when you load in. And you can even hunt down and sample the Shadow Buck for a quick $29 if there's no other animals on Harriet's list that you can do. Now, the game allows you to hunt and track down three of these legendaries at a time. Say for example you complete the list and sample or kill all three animals. You'll then have to wait for the cooldown on the mission list to end and three new animals will get updated for you to go hunt next. What this means is that while you can't necessarily do these back to back to back in perpetuity for the rest of this week, you can still grind three at a time and then come back later for another three more animals to sample when the cooldown timer refreshes. While you wait you can tend to your daily challenges, go treasure hunting, or use a few of the treasure maps you have saved up and go get some gold, or you can keep up with your moonshine and trader productions, which is something I highly recommend, and maybe even do some bounty hunts. It's really up to you. There's also the option of sampling normal free roam animals or free roam legendaries while you wait, although this turns less profit and is significantly more time consuming. So the one strategy I would recommend, especially if you just got the naturalist and want to reach level five as fast as possible so you can start hunting down some legendary animals, is by sedating and sampling all of the alligators near Le Gras around the bayou. This is my recommended naturalist XP method for the lower levels out there, and with one of Harriet's shops just north of the Le Gras fast travel posts, there is little travel time involved when you max out on the 10 alligator or snapping turtle samples, and then you need to go sell them. The only thing I wish we got this week in terms of the double cash was for trading in a stamp collection. If that was the case, players could have earned $1,400 if they traded in a stamp collection for the red and blonde legendary animal set, which usually has a trade-in value of $700 without any sort of bonus going on, but we can always dream, right? Or you can take advantage of the other chill and laid back money bonus this week, which is double cash and XP on fishing and fishing related free roam events and activities. The best strategy here for fishing is going to be the Lake Sturgeon method over near Blackwater and the Butcher that's there. For those of you who played during the long gone days of the Red Dead Online beta, you probably are familiar with different carcass fishing methods and the Blackwater fishing method. Now, while carcass fishing was passed a long time ago, the blackwater fishing spot still works like a charm. 
Here, you can catch about one lake sturgeon every minute or two and have enough time to sell it at the butcher right behind you and get back to fishing. Normally, that's $7.25 per lake sturgeon you catch and sell to the butcher, but this week it's going to be $14.50 per fish caught and sold with a double money bonus. One minute per fish caught is pretty fast and probably not something you'll be able to consistently get results for, so let's take a much more achievable time of catching one fish every two minutes with this method. That's $14.50 every two minutes, which works out to be $435 an hour if you keep at it. And honestly, that's pretty good money to be earning in the meantime while you wait to sample more legendary animals, and you can treat it just like you would if you went out on the water in real life, grab a six pack, kick your feet up, and start reeling them in. Now, say if you want to go after other large fish, I highly recommend these locations that I'm going to show you on screen. If you don't want to go by Blackwater, you can check out these other Lake Sturgeon locations, one south of the new Hanover icon on the map, basically in between Valentine and Rhodes, and then all along the swamps, which is also a good spot for the Lake Sturgeon. Say if you want to go after some long nose gar, the bayou is also going to be your friend here as well, all along the swamps and by the N and the E in Lemoyne. If you want to go after musk, you can find all these different places. Owengila Dam and Owengila Lake is a good location to catch some muskie or go up by Van Horn and fish over there for those. But again, you're going to be farther from the butcher here. So the strawberry location is probably going to be more recommended. And then the other good one, it's not a large fish, but it's just a medium sized fish for the succulent fish meat, which you can also sell to the butcher for quite a lot of money. And you can hold so many of now are the sockeye salmon. My favorite locations are probably going to be Ocray's Run and then the river right near Valentine that runs and has the rapids. Those are two excellent locations to catch some sockeye salmon. The channel catfish is also a good idea, but honestly, I feel like that's a lot of work and that's a good spot if you want to catch some channel catfish and also get the alligators in the area for those normal free roam animal samples. But with all of that being said, I think we will wrap up this video right here. Thank you so much for watching another one of my weekly money guides here for Red Dead Online. Not a super crazy week by any means, but definitely different sort of bonuses than what we're used to and certainly there are ways in which you can make money faster but also don't really need to do a whole lot of work to actually achieve just some easy ways to earn some more cash and explore the world at a slower pace something i think everyone who still plays this game can appreciate which is the massive open world that we have to explore Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we upload here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. You're more more than welcome to ask me any questions on there and you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below with that being said thank you all so much for watching everyone i hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next red dead online video adios amigos